What's up guys? In this video I'm going to be talking about three fragrances that I have been wearing this summer. Uh, these have been pretty much my go-to's this summer, or just the ones that I realized I've been reaching the most for. Um, there was two more, but I just want to keep this video short, so I only picked three fragrances. Um, and I'm going to go ahead and you go by the fragrances I've used the most to the least. So, we're going to go ahead and start off with the first one. It's going to be the Oral of Sport. Um, so... This one, it's good for the summer, but it's not, I don't think it's uh, safe. You can't, be careful with your sprays on this one. Um, at least for myself, I haven't been able, well, I, sometimes I just don't go nose blind to the fragrance, so it becomes very cloying throughout the day. Um, I did sell um, Dior on 2020. And I kept the Sport, just because I do really enjoy the Sport over 2020, that's why I decided to keep it. Um, and having both of them is kind of redundant, and I still think the Sport is better. But yeah, um, at the number three spot, it's going to be Dior Homme Sport. At the number two spot, um, this one is the Creed that I thought I was going to hate the most. Um, I expected to get this Creed and sell it. But it's actually a creed that I really do enjoy. Um, it's gonna be Creed's original vetiver. So this smells like a niche version to Dior Homme Cologne. As you guys know, if you guys don't know, Dior Homme Cologne is my favorite Dior out of well, the, my favorite Dior Homme um, that I have tried. So this is like a better version, kind of. It smells very similar. Um, and I've been reaching for this one more than the Aroma Cologne. So I've actually put a pretty big, pretty decent dent on this one. I believe the juice starts up here somewhere.